Roy of the Rovers, which you couldn't script his goal. He said even Dixie Dean would have liked his head. I don't know when his last one was. <laughs> There were people pouring champagne out of windows, throwing people in the swimming pool, and there sitting in a seat on his own was Bob in his cardigan, drinking orange juice. The 1977, the, the first European Cup oh, success. Yeah. You travelled with the team. I did, what yeah. What was that like? And tell us about the experience both beforehand you know, that they seemed very like it was almost fate to win that European mm. Cup. Yeah, well, I travelled with them right through the season in Europe. It was sensational. It really was. Um, I think there was a feeling that uh, going out to Rome, that although it was a tough brunch and munching club, but were a, you know, formidable opposition, I just had a feeling Liverpool would win it. They were good enough to win it. Uh, Bob had them primed. And... Um, Quite remarkable kind of team tour, but they were full of it. Phil Neal said, yeah, it really buoyed me up, you know, hearing Bob say that, the boss was saying that. And, um, and of course, they played ever so well. Uh, that, you know, there was a slight setback when Munching Gladbach scored, but yeah, and then they, in the second half, they really proved that the, they were the best team in Europe. Kevin Keegan's farewell. Uh, he led Bertie Vox a merry dance and eventually Bertie paid the price and they were close friends as well. And then um, Tommy Smith, Roy of the Rovers, you couldn't script his goal, a rare header. Bill, Bob Perry said even Dixie Dean would have liked his head. I don't know when his last one was. You know. Lovely stuff. After the game it was just sensational because we went back to the Holiday in St Peter's we were staying and it was just a riot. It was an absolute riot. There were people pouring champagne out of windows, throwing people in the swimming pool, and there sitting in a seat on his own was Bob in his cardigan, drinking orange juice. And he said, I'm going to savour every minute. There's only two people in Rome alongside me, sober tonight, the Pope and Horace Yates. Now, Horace Yates was the teetotaler sports editor of the Liverpool Daily Post, getting on in years at the time. And so there was Bob sitting drinking orange juice in this moment of high triumph. It was sensational. It really was. Um, and I thought, I'm privileged to be here, you know. And a turning point for Kevin Keegan. Um, amazing. Did you uh, partake in a little bit of champagne celebration? I think, yourself, I think I had a glass <laughs> or two, Matt, you know. Yes, I certainly did.